we want to prove that 5 raised to the power of n minus 1 is divisible by 4. We want to do that by mathematical induction. So, let's look at it now. We will prove that this proposition when n equal 1 is true. So let us prove that p1 is true. When n is 1, 5 raised to the 1 minus 1 is equal to 4. So therefore, p1 is indeed true. Let us assume that for some value k, when n is equal to k, pk is true. So, 5 raised to the power of k minus 1 is true. Okay? Now, if that is the case, we need to prove that p of the next term after k is k plus 1. That pk plus 1 is true. Alright? So, let's see how that goes. 5 to the k minus... 5 to the k plus 1 minus 1 is true. 1 want to show that 5 to the k plus 1 minus 1 is true. All right, now we know that 5 to the k minus 1 is true. Well, we assume 5 to the k minus 1 is true based on the fact that 5 to the n minus 1 is divisible by 4. That, it is, that, that statement is true. All right? k is some value between 1 and n, whatever value that is. So let's prove that it is true. Now we know that 5 to the n or 5 to the k minus 1 is, is divisible by 4. So that means there is a certain number, right? That 5 to the k minus 1 is equal to. If that number is divisible by 4, it means it is obtained by having 4 times another number. Alright? So therefore, 5 to the k minus 1 is equal to 4 times some number. Um, let's call that number p. So 5 to the k Minus 1 is equal to 4p. Alright? Because 4p is divisible by 4. As long as p is an integer. Now, 5 to the k is equal to, let's transpose and we get 4p minus, 4p plus 1. Alright, good. Now, let's rewrite 5 to the k plus 1, minus 1. 5 to the k plus 1, um, I mean k plus 1, minus 1. This is equal to, using our knowledge of indices, this is 5 to the k times 5 to the 1, minus 1. Alright? But 5 to the 1 is just 5, so you can write this as 5 to the k times 5. You see that? Now, here, we have that 5 to the k is equal to 4p plus 1. So let's write this 5 to the k as 4p plus 1. So, 4p plus 1, that's 5 to the k, multiply by 5. 
minus 1. We're saying that that is divisible by 4. How do we show that now? All right, if we multiply 5 by 4p, which is 20p, plus 5 times 1, it's 5 minus 1 is divisible by 4. Now let's put these together. 20p plus 5 minus 1 is 4. We're saying that this is divisible by 4. Hmm. Let's see now. Is that so? If we factorize, we get 4 outside the bracket. Inside the bracket, we get 5 p plus 1 is divisible by 4 so here this is what it boils down to right so therefore this is divisible by 4 all right so review we're asked to prove that 5 to the 1 minus 1 is divisible by 4. Now, starting, getting it right from the start, when, P, when n is 1, 5 to the 1 minus 4 is equal to 4, which is divisible by 4. So P1 is true. Assume that PK is true, whatever K is. K is some number between 1 and n. So, Whatever that number is, 5 to the k minus 1 is true. We just change n to k. Alright? So we know we need we don't need to prove that p to the k plus 1 is true, where k plus 1 is the number after k. So if we change n to k, then k to k plus 1, we say 5 to the k plus 1 minus 1 is true. Then we argue that if 5 to the k minus 1 is divisible by 4, then it means that 5 to the k minus 1 is equal to some number that is divisible by 4. Now, whatever the number is, let's say p, uh, 4p. It can be 4 anything, 4 times an integer is divisible by 4. So in this case, 5 to the k minus 1 is equal to 4p. We make 5 to the k the subject of the formula, so 4 so 5 to the k is equal to 4p plus 1. And then, if that is so, when we come to 5 to the k plus 1, using our knowledge of indices, we split the 5 to the k plus 1 up into 5 to the k times 5. And then our minus 1 at the end here. Right? So we have 5 to the k. What 5 to the k is 4p plus 1. So we convert 5 to the k to 4p plus 1. We substitute 4p plus 1 for 5 to the k. So we have 4p plus 1 multiplied by, by 5 minus 1. So here we have 2p when we multiply the 5 by 4, 20p. And then 5 by 1 is 5 minus 1. Um, 20p plus 5 minus 1 gives you 20p plus 4. And then to show clearly that it is divisible by 4, we factor out 4. So remember, 5p plus 1 is an integer. And 4 times that would be divisible by 4. So our statement is proved.